Hello everyone, welcome back. ChatGPT has received its biggest update and now Code Interpreter is available for all ChatGPT Plus users. In today's video, I'll talk about 7 mind-blowing use of ChatGPT Code Interpreter. So stick till then, let's get started. So the first step is to enable the Code Interpreter. Uh, to do so, you have to go to sidebar, go to your settings sections. Under beta feature, you'll find this uh, toggle bar, enable it. If it is not enabled, then you'll be able to see this over here. So once this is enabled, let's go ahead and see our first use case, uh, which is data visualization and analysis. For that, we'll go to new chat, uh, go to GPT-4, code interpreter, and I'm going to upload a file, uh, which has few data, which is a CSV file. So let's go ahead and upload that. And I'm going to provide this command. Uh, we'll be analyzing this file. Are you ready for this? And let's go ahead and enter. And in meanwhile, I'll just go ahead and show you what is there as a part of this CSV file. So as a part of the CSV file, we have 100 entries. We have user ID, first name, last name, sex, email, phone, date of birth, and job title. So we'll go ahead and ask few questions and create a graphs on uh, top of this. So let's see how it works. So you'll see here, uh, it has loaded the data and it has found all the index, you know, uh, column names. And uh, we can go ahead and ask uh, our questions now. So the first question we are going to ask is uh, create and show a pie chart for the sex. So let's see if it works or not. So we have the uh, pie chart over here. You can see the distribution of sex female uh, 53% and male, which is uh, 47%, right? So let's go ahead and ask uh, another question on the same data set. So the next question is uh, birth month distribution. Extract the month from the date of birth and create a bar chart showing the number of people born in each month. Okay, so let's see. So you can see here we have the birth month distribution for uh, a number of people born in each month. So this was the example uh, showing that, you know, you can upload any CSV file with any number of entries and then you can do your analysis and visualization on the data of that. So the second use case is uh, converting any link to QR code. So I'm taking this uh, link and I'll generate the QR code directly in Code Interpreter. So let's go ahead and provide the prompt. Can you create QR code for this link? And let's see. So you can easily see we are able to generate QR code over here. So third use case which we'll be using is uh, generating a word cloud. So you could always provide a prompt like this. Uh, generate a word cloud using the following words related to artificial intelligence or uh, anything of your choice. And you can provide 10, 15 words and you can add display the word cloud and then enter. So let's have a look at the results here. Uh, you can see here the words which we have provided. Those are added as a part of this word cloud and we can see over here. Fourth use case is uh, image processing. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'll be using this image for reference over here and I'll provide a prompt with something like this. I'm going to provide you image and I would like you to perform image processing for this image. Convert this original image to grayscale. So let's have a look at the results here. Uh, you could see here the original file which we provided is this and the grayscale which has been generated is like this. Okay, so this is how you can edit image as well. So fifth use case is uh, generating a color palette. So we'll go ahead and use the same image. Okay, and this time the prompt is use this image and create a script that extract top five color from this picture and then turn them into palette PNG, add color hex code to be part of the palette.png. So let's have a look at this result here. Uh, so it has first uploaded the image, extracted the top five colors and then generated the palette for us. And we have the downloadable link over here. So if you download this file, you can go ahead and see that, you know, palette.png, we have a hex code given as a part of this uh, palette, right? So the next use case is uh, converting GIF to MP4. So here we'll be using this GIF image, GIF file, uh, and I'm going to provide this prompt, convert this GIF to five second MP4 video with slow zoom in effect and give me the uh, downloadable file, okay? So let's go ahead and provide the prompt. So our result is ready. I have downloaded this file. Uh, let's play it over here. Uh, let's have a look at this. So you can see, you know, we have this zoom in effect uh, in this video, which is around five seconds. Uh, let's have a look at the GIF as well. So this was the GIF which we converted to MP4. So, so let's have a look at the seventh use case. Uh, here we'll be using any image from which we can extract data. So let's take this image and you can provide a prompt like this. OCR this image and give me the value in text file and it will extract the data and provide you the details. Let's have a look at the results here. So you'll find uh, it has extracted the details over here. And then it has saved the details in the file, uh, which you can download. And you will have this invoice, invoice number. So this is the uh, 
you know uh, image which we have done the OCR and extracted the details. I've gone through the entire fields and I can see you know all the details uh, which was there as a part of the image has been extracted clearly and without any issues. Okay, you can see that you know we have a value, we have invoice date, invoice number, name, and other things. That's all for the day, guys. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.